why hello there what is up hello i am back with another video surprise surprise i wanted to do a little series i don't know how often i'm going to do this i'm thinking maybe once a month but i wanted to test out different apps different games software technology etc etc for um visually impaired, visually impaired and blind people because that is what i am and i wanted to test them out because i thought it'd be fun quite frankly i did get this idea and i can't remember what i got the idea from i can't remember now uh, but yeah i wanted to do this and i thought why not i guess i just kind of wanted to see what was out there and test things out uh, i don't use a lot of technologies i don't play game specifically for visually impaired people. I don't um, use various different apps. I don't really use anything really to help me ever. So I thought I would just see what's out there because honestly I have no idea and I thought I would just test them with you and see how we all think it is. Uh, today I have two apps and they are games specifically that are meant to be for accessible for blind and visually impaired people uh other people can play them too but i thought i would show you these two games i haven't played them i don't know what they're about i haven't opened them up or anything all i know is that they're meant to be accessible for blind people and that is what i thought i would try out uh they're not always going to be games they're going to be random things but i thought i would just try these two games because i just found them and they seemed quite similar in their approach to the game and I, yeah, <laughs> that is about it. Uh, I am a huge gamer, I love playing games. I don't specifically play games for visually impaired and blind people, I just play, uh, you know, all the mainstream games that are out. And obviously I have my difficulties there's no, and there's games I can't play and there are aspects of games I absolutely love that are a little bit more difficult for me. Um, but I still love games and I'm a big gamer. Uh, but I thought it'd be interesting to try games that are specifically designed for visually impaired people. With that being said, I think we should just get into it. Uh, <laughs> so, I have the two games on my phone. These, uh, I will screen record and I'll put it here, what I'm going to be playing. So I found these. So the first game is called Audio Game Hub. Uh, so it says... It is an audio ga game hub developed by Gamification Lab of something university, <laughs> uh, Lindbergh. Uh, you can play eight various arcade games by using only audio on your smartphone. The mini games are completely made accessible for blind and sighted people and still fun to play. Uh, sighted people can also take off the visuals for experience to, uh, to experience it the way blind people do. So it is suitable for blind people. Uh, low vision, colour blind, uh, tremor, people with tremors, people with one arm, one key, I don't know what that is, sorry, uh, no voice and illiterate and uh, epileptic as well apparently. Um, yeah, it's an audio game. Apparently it's not, I was reading the review here, and apparently it's not good for deaf people, like it can be a little bit hard for somebody who's um, hard of hearing, so maybe keep that in mind um i have no idea other than that what the game's about so let's go into it my phone is currently on um inverted contrast so i'll be interested to see if it that affects it in any way i'm not going to be playing these games like fully either just going to give us a little tester to see what they're like and how accessible they are um but yeah <laughs> i thought this would be quite an interesting fun yes yeah, so that was a little mini tutorial so it seems this music seems quite similar to uh, the voiceover on the iPhone in a way I guess um, I don't really use the voiceover on iPhone so I'm not huge on that anyway so but it seems like a very basic but similar version play game. let's just play game games menu. Animal, animal escape, escape. animal escape one. game menu then we'll move on to the next start game app. Hi there, my name's Joe. I'm a truck Hi, driver Joe. delivering animals to a farm. Today, I'm a load of chickens, ducks, pigs, rabbits, cows, sheep, and horses. Why do you think you're angry? 
Oh, my, that was a big bump. One of the crates fell off. I need to catch that animal before it's too late. So go across this road and I put it back onto blind mode to see if I can do it. Am I good? Hit blind Inverted mode. mode. Blind mode. Oh my god. So what if you walk into a tree or something? Oh, there's like a beeping. A new high score. Your okay, final so score that's... is 49. Final score is 49. Animal escape graphics mode. Okay, so that's the app. It does seem quite accessible to some extent. Um, for it does seem quite accessible to some extent for um blind and visually impaired people. I think uh I like that they have inverted mode. I like that they have a blind mode. Uh, I like that it's quite. Uh, audio based I guess uh, yeah I mean it seems like it could be quite accessible I don't know I I don't know uh, it does seem quite good though it would be nice if there was a few more arcade games I suppose um, I feel like I don't know how they could have made that maybe that animal chasey one <laughs> uh, animal escape I think it was I don't know if they could have made that maybe more accessible there was Beeping, um, so I don't know if that was like indicating where like the lamp posts were and how close you were to the road or what. And I like that you could pick the, they made different sound effects whether on the grass or whether they were on the uh, road or whether they were on the train tracks. So that was quite good. Um, but yeah, that was that app. Let's try out the other one that I have. This one, um, this one is called Blindscape. Um, Blindscape is a short story audio game for iOS and Android devices. In this game, you hear the story of a man who has been punished for his crimes against the state. As punishment, they took away his sight. During the game, you... I mean, it says you hear the man. You hear the man, the main character, tell his story and give you orders for what to do in the game. The game takes only 15 minutes and once you start... It, there is no pause or quit button. The entire screen is black except for a small hint button in the bottom left corner. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to play like a few minutes of this, but if you do want me to play it fully, let me know. Um, this one was released this year, so September the 16th, 2019. So only uh, today. Wait, what? It was released today? Okay, because it is the 16th of September 2019 today. It won't be by the time this video comes out. So I really like roleplay games or RPGs. RPGs are my favourite style of game. Uh, I like a bit of audio based, um, story based games. They're my favourite. So this is going to be quite interesting for me. Um, 
it is suitable for blind, color blind, uh, one, well I guess color blind as well because it's just black, isn't it? One arm, one key, still don't know what that is, saws, uh, no voice, illiterate and uh, illi uh, epileptic, which is good. Accessible 10.0, uh, funness 6.0. So it's another uh, audio based game, hence why I picked it because they were both audio and I went, thought why not. This one's more RPG, the other one was arcade style games, so it'll be interesting to see how they do it. And yeah, we should just get on with it. I'm only playing, end, like I said, like a minute or two. Um, the punishment they also said it's the crime. to put in headphones and use them and put them in stereo mode so you get all the different side effects. So. They electrocuted him to get rid of his sight. The tribunal's words play over and over in my head. There are no other sounds that can drown them out. I've been stuck in this tiny apartment for months. No more job. No more so personal accountability morning. meetings. Just the rattle of the radiator and the ticking of a clock that I can't even see. What Punishment the fits the crime. Oh, they're right here. And so they burned out my eyes. And no matter how bad it gets, I can't even cry about it. The procedure fused my tear ducts. I need to get out of this room. I need to get out of this city. I refuse to wait until I wither away. They've taken almost everything from me. But I still have control over one thing when and how it ends. But first, I need to leave my room. I'm standing in front of the door, but I still need to find the doorknob. Got it. Am I meant to do something here? I never thought I'd see the day where opening a door constituted a major victory. Not for someone who was the lead so architect of the screen, government complex, different points of the screen. which included the courthouse where they sentenced me. Ooh, he's walking I hardly felt like now. mine. It could have been beautiful and the monumental. Like. But the commission rejected every good idea I had. And here's the outer door. Ow. Nope. Nope. Ow. Nope. Ow. Not that. Ouch. Mm. Ow. Nope. Ow. Mm. Nope. Mm. Ouch. Nope. Ow. Oh my god, I've literally tipped everywhere on the screen. Ouch. Not that. I should have been like filming my screen nope. so that I'm doing mm. so it's completely black. Nope. Mm. Nope. Mm. Ouch. Nope. Not that. Nope. Where the heck Ow. is this nope. goddamn Ow. Ouch. Ow. Nope. door handle? Not that. My God. Ow. Not that. Mm. So even like Not doing that, that Ouch. doesn't nope. do anything. Mm. Getting Ow. my finger marks Not all that. over my phone. Mm. Nope. Ouch. Nope. Mm. Ouch. Ow. Not that. Nope. Mm. Not that. Mm. Ouch. Nope. Ouch. Ow. Why are you ouch. using ouch? Ow. It's a short walk oh my God. from the of our precinct. Beyond that is the old city. <sighs> Nothing but decaying buildings and the rusted bones of ancient cars. I just hope no one is following me. Why the tribunal following? never figured out how I got out of the precinct in the first place. Am I meant to be walking right now? They offered to let me keep one eye if I told them. I lied and said I found the forbidden art under a board in my apartment. They didn't believe me, so they took both eyes. The way under the wall is right here. 
I just have to lift up the access hatch to the old subway system and climb down. That's not it. Nothing there. That's not it. Nothing there. That's not it. Nothing there. <laughs> That's not it. Oh. It's really weird, I'm still looking at my phone even though like you can't see anything. Oh I'm meant to do something again. Nothing there. That's not it. Nothing there. That's nothing there. That's not it. Nothing there. That's nothing there. That's not it. Nothing there. That's not it. Nothing there. Okay. No, I know it's right here. It was all because of some stupid movie posters. I've never even seen a movie or read a novel or heard a song. But I love those posters. I sit for hours just imagining the story each one might have represented. I never would have gone out there. I never would have found the posters if it hadn't been for her. They took her away. It wasn't just her that killed that morning. They also killed me, the person I was when we were together. The secret language that we created, that any two people create when they're so close. It was orphaned, left with only a single Sound native speaker. Really good. And the empty shell they left behind no longer cared about the risk of sneaking into the old city. Where we always talked about going together. I must be under where the wall is now. They make a show of guarding it, but no one really cares. Most people are too busy with their jobs to try to get out. Besides, They've all been told that the stuff out there is what destroyed the old world. And as far as I can tell, they're right, it did. I'm not sure I care anymore. The tunnel that leads out is on the other side of the empty station. I used to have a flashlight, but that wouldn't do too much good for me now. There's a pipe that's always leaking right above it. I can hear that. I guess I'll just have to walk towards the dripping sound. Well, right now I can only hear it in my right ear, so I'm assuming it's on the right. Um, I do like the sound effects. It does sound like isn't there's not much. I don't know. It's not like it's like three D. I don't. I don't feel like I'm there. It's still like it, there's sounds, but it still feels a bit two D in a way. Um, if that makes any sort of sense. Um, it also sounds like when he was walking, he was walking quite quickly. I guess for somebody who didn't sound like he had a cane because there wasn't like a dragging sound of it or um, I mean it could be folded and holding in his hand and it wasn't or it wasn't tapping and he didn't doesn't sound like he has a dog either um, but obviously he knows the area I suppose but it's still like an outside space so there are potential unknowns like something you could trip over um, but I think it's quite a good game so far so let's try and walk towards this dripping Get louder. Okay, here's the pipe. Got the restrictions it. never made sense to me. The stuff that got people addicted and caused everything to fall apart was full scale virtual worlds. I didn't see how the old books and pictures you find out here could cause any harm. I still showed up at work every day. 
Everything was fine until I left the posters out and the landlord stopped by. I'd been bugging him to fix the heat for six months, and that had to be the day he finally showed up. There's water here. I can feel the tug of a current. This old subway tunnel seems to have a river running down it. There's some kind of boat here, too. Might as well use it. I have no How idea did you know where it's going. Maybe Looks it'll like be like the Viking like funerals I read about in the encyclopedia volume I found. It covered the letters U and V. Now I just need to push off from shore. Like, how do they know it's a boat just by kicking it? Because it could just be a bit of cardboard floating. Like, That's a start. Getting there. Almost. There we go. I can't really steer or paddle. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I'll just lie here and float down the tunnel. Drowning isn't the best way to go, but at least I'll be far enough away that there's no chance of getting taken back to the precinct. So is he trying to commit suicide? Is that... Okay. I think that's where we'll leave that game just because there seemed to be like a natural kind of pausing point there. Um, I, I don't even know if, yeah, it was still screen recording. I liked that game. That was a good game. That was like an RPG. It was also a point and click because you just had to like direct him where to go on your phone uh, as I showed you. Uh, it would be interesting to see where that story led honestly that'd be quite interesting i think um <clears throat> if you would like to see where that story leads let me know and i'll do another video playing it um but yeah i i think it's quite good it by the sounds of it he's um it's a bit sad that they made a game that makes being blind like a tragedy i suppose but i know for some people it is uh, but yeah, I liked it. I thought it was a good game and it got released this year. The previous one I think got released in 2016 so I guess that's why it looks a bit more dated I suppose. Um, but I still like that one too. If there are any other games you would like me to try out because I was looking at a list of games that are accessible for blind and visually impaired people and there's a lot of mainstream games that are. Uh, I don't know if that's just like making the dialogue bigger. Like there was Halo, there was Mad Max, there was... Um, all those kind of games so if you would like me to try any games let me know uh, I will be trying out some other apps and technologies that won't always be game related these two this time just ended up being game related because it was the first things I've seen and I really wanted to try them out and yeah that's about it I hope you enjoyed this video uh, I'm not sure what video is coming next week at this moment in time but uh, make sure you go and check it out when it is out and I hope you enjoyed this and um, I'm going to leave the links to the games down below. They are free on the App Store, get them on Android, I'm pretty sure you can get some of them on the PC, uh, on your Mac, on your iPad. Um, so I'm going to leave them down below, the links for them if you want to go and check them out down below and go and check them out. Uh, I would recommend the Blindscape one. Uh, that's the point and click one that was quite a good one um and even if you're a sighted person go and check it out because it could be quite interesting for you i suppose and yeah that's about it and i will see you next week for another video bye